Hey guys, quick overview of this um, three party dog background or animal. Um, this one I wanted to show you that it's it's a little complicated, but I've actually made it that way to make your life a little easier. I'm not quite finished with this edit, but I thought I'd share with you how it's going. Um, I have made the following options, okay? So here are mine gone. So the first option is that you can mask your animals in over the top without any mask at all. And, and, and that's if that's easy, do it. If not, I made it so, and I'm going to fix this. That was for my, um, what do you call it? The, the guy with the, the one with the um, glasses. Um, I just added that mask there. But this one, you'll have to do the same thing. Um, these will be clean edges but you'll put your sample dog beneath the middle one and then you can either choose to um, put your other ones on top or if it's even easier take that off and use the center one and then the center one has a fur mask in the middle which has fur around the edges and then a mask on the right but no fur because really this person this animal head should be popping through you might have to when you do this clone hit alt here oops go on the actual layer hit alt here and clone in to to the space beneath your animal head depending on what shape it is i had to do that with mine here which was there so i i cloned that piece in there is there so you will have to make some modifications to this if let's say that you want to do um the the mask on the right and the middle you'll have to make one person or one of your animals um beneath you'll have to click this one no fur middle mask only that's what i did for him and then you'll have to like i did here put your dog above this one or your animal head above this one and and mask it in which again I'm not quite finished I just want to show you what I'm going through and then um, same thing with the dog over here or the animal over here you'll mask over so you're really your choice is to make your life a little simpler is you can have no mask at the bottom and just put them all over and mask in yourself or you can have uh, a no fur middle mask only which I thought might be the easiest because these two you can really just put over you don't need the, the middle mask because they're turned a little. Um, and then lastly, you can use both masks if you so choose, like I showed before. Do watch the other tutorials I did on fur masks and regular ones for tips on how to get them in and also how to modify your fur masks. But I want to just give you a quick glimpse of what this one is like. There's three heads available. It's a little more work than usual, but it's super awesome. Isn't it neat? So anyway, I thought I'd help you out there. Um, I hope you enjoy, and until next time, stay enchanted.